Welcome to the 3 minute trash and boss guide to Stonecore Heroic. We enter the dungeon and get met by 3 packs of identical mobs. Prioritize Earth Shapers as they have lower health than the rest and have a long cast which, if it goes off, does massive AoE damage. Interrupt the spell, but since most mobs do nothing during the cast, you can wait and interrupt towards the end of the cast. Millhouse Manastorm runs off to the next pack at 50% HP and fears an AoE Frostbolt while he's active. Berserkers cast Spinning Slash, just like the last boss in Guntrack, so run out of the group if you're struggling, but otherwise just stay in and suck suck. On the first boss Corbus, move out of the crystals he casts on a player. Then AoE the adds a spawn with low health. When he submerges, he'll periodically do a dolphin dive above the ground that will be indicated by dust clouds on the ground. Move away to avoid getting one shot. Kill the adds that spawn and rinse and repeat once he goes above ground. After the first boss, you'll encounter your first crystal spawn giant. These have an ability called Quake, which does a decent chunk of AoE damage. All of the damage can be avoided by simply jumping before the cast goes off. If you have a priest in your group, he can levitate all players that aren't taking damage. The Stone Core Flares comes in packs of 2 or 3, and does a frontal cleave which is static once they start casting. Move out of this frontal, and if you're a tank, make sure they start casting the frontal in a similar direction as to not screw over the melee in your group. Run down the gauntlet while avoiding the rock pillars indicated by the shadows on the ground. Slab Hide has a ground face and an air face. In the air face, he'll spawn spikes, just like he did in a gauntlet, which will remain active during the ground face. During the ground face, he'll spawn lava pools on the ground, move out of these. He'll also cast the frontal, so face the boss away from the group. After a while, he'll start casting Crystal Storm. Move behind a pillar to LOS the damage. Feel free to stay in and pump if you have a strong defensive cooldown up. Once the boss is dead, we move into a big trash room. The only important thing here is to kill the sentries ASAP, so that they don't run off and pull other mobs. They can be one-shot by any ranged player. Just AoE down the packs and interrupt Demon Portal cast by the Conjurers. Pull bruises by themselves as they are quite a nuisance, jumping around and knocking players back. Face them away from the group to avoid cleaving them with Shockwave. Move to the middle to avoid the packs on the side. Then Ostrook, a very simple tank and spank boss. Face him away from the group, tank sidestep the ground slam, stay 20 yards away from the boss if you're ranged, and melee move out when he casts his paralysis and shadow combo. Rinse and repeat until dead. AoE down the small mobs after the boss until you get to High Priestess Azil. Move out of Gravity Well and interrupt Force Grip. When she flies up into the phase 2, she takes reduced damage. She'll spawn adds, drag them through the Gravity Well to kill them. She'll cast boulders on the ground, don't get hit. Most people will be close enough to kill her when she flies up, so just keep BPSing until she's dead. And that's how you complete Stonecore Heroic. Subscribe for more 3 minute guides. But that's all for now, thank you very much for watching, until next time.